What up, what up, what up? Uh, it's me. I'm back again. <laughs> so I was uh, going to do a beat breakdown um, for you today for Life in Disguise um, by Mike L. Me. <laughs> so uh, I was going to do like a, a more interactive one where I'm just like playing each voice by itself. Um, so it'd be like, oh, here's the drums. Stop the drums. Here's the synth. Stop the synth. Um, but I decided against it. Um, if you do want to see it, uh, yeah, that style of beat breakdown, just let me know in the comments below. And um, I'll make another one of these with uh, doing that. Um, but for this one, I just listened to the song. And just so it's fresh on my mind. Um, and I'll do a breakdown. So the producer of this track is, surprise, surprise, it's me. Um, so I made the, the beat. Um, uh, so you're now sitting down live with the producer of the song. Um, so to, to start off with, uh, I will just throw in this um, side note here. Uh, I will attempt to do this to my, the best of my ability given my probably somewhat limited uh, vocabulary of um, musical uh, elements and um, themes, topics, theory, the whole nine. Um, so uh, just throwing that out there. All right, so let's, uh, let's get right into it. So, um, all right, so the overall just like tone, um, of the song is not like exude exuberantly happy um it's um more withdrawn sort of sad sort of vibe is how i describe it um so for me the artist me felt like this is a perfect backdrop for like a story and maybe a sad story or maybe a reflective story and I feel like um, at the end of it, it ended up being a combination of both. Um, so, okay, so it's got that sort of uh, energy to it. Um, why and how does that happen? Um, first off, uh, the BPM on this is in the 80s for sure, I think. I could be wrong. I probably should have looked that up before. Um, but if we end up doing uh, that other style video, I will definitely look that up because I'm slacking right now. I should have that information, but I don't. So, um, it's a slower song. Um, I might have some, anyway, so, um, so that's, uh, step one. And then just like the arrangement, um, listening back to it again sort of uh, makes a little more sense um, to how it could sort of give off this uh, more subdued energy. Um, so uh, the song starts off, um, it's got like pianos, uh, like a piano key, uh, sort of call and response with a, uh, so the piano call with like a uh, reverby sort of synth um, response. So it's just like piano in, uh, like, I'd say it's, um, it's like a pipe, uh, like a flute, like, um, I forget what those instruments are called, they're like three or four feet tall pipes, um, it's, it reminds me of that, um, uh, so it's got kind of like that call and response, so it's not going to be just like a very warm track at all. It's more definitely on the cooler side of things. That's how it opens up that call and response. So then we get the bass to come in there shortly after. And at that point, when I hear it, I think of um, the P Rock, P Rock and CL Smooth song, Will They Reminisce Over You? My God. <laughs> that song um this is like one of the greatest songs ever in my mind such a great song um but i get that sort of um that sort of feel that sort of vibe um when that bass comes in and i feel like 
a lot of like the jazz rap era that like Q-Tip pretty much started. Um, it's that sort of like, man, that will they remember this song? It was so dumb. Um, but that combo of just like jazzy, sort of wavy, subdued, cool color, cool temperature with like a, a hard hitting bass, like is just like the perfect combo for like storytelling. Don't ask me why I just feel like that. Um, but so when the bass hits, I feel like I get that vibe. Um, and then, um, so the main um, like melody, I guess, is just like a sort of two step. Um, boom, 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 boom. And it's like, a, it's like a, I don't know, I would call it a two step. That might not even, that might, might be the furthest thing from the truth, but that's um, what I, I would call it. That's what I think of. Um, and it's so it's like a back and forth. And it's not a fast back and forth, like, but it kind of could be, but it's not. But then, like, the rest of the energy kicks in, and it's just like a, to me, it's like more of a lullaby rock than like a, like a dancey two step. Um, and then, um, oh, yeah, so, uh, so this is not the beat, but this is like, so when the song comes on, there's like the singy part, it's like another tune for you. And that's just like, to me, that just further sets the tone. But I'll uh, not spend too much time on that because that's not like the beat. And this is a beat break breakdown. So um, so next we've got like the drum loop kick, kicks in, <laughs> pun intended. Um, and not on purpose, but anyway, so it's like, it's just like a regular boom bap, you know, hip hop loop. And that just like uh, further steeps it in that um, there will they reminisce over you sort of storytelling vibe. So it's got more of like a beginnings, not like early beginnings, but more of like a early stage hip hop, East Coasty type of vibe. At least that's how I would describe it. Um, just with the boom bap loop. And it's just like a basic loop. It's not anything. It's like extravagant. It's got no fills or anything like that. Um, so it's very like um, you could say it like sort of has a sample feel, I guess, because it's just like a loop. Um, uh, so that, like having that loop, it also um, induces or suggests sort of like a trancey vibe or feel to the song. Um, so it creates that, um, so you've got the rocking, a trance, trancey rocking lullaby almost, and then, um, you've got like the, um, the, uh, okay, so the only, uh, the element that goes against that and provides like a little bit of contrast, and Prince used to do that, I think Prince is the first person that I've ever heard, um, do that as far as like sequential um like the timeline of music goes like he would make this like ballad slow song and it's like a super slow ballad it's like long drawn out notes slow song and put like crazy like 30 second beat hi-hats in there just this high hat's going, going nuts. And it was like, I don't know, it's kind of like a, it's a, a weird clash of uh, energy, but like it fits. And that's part of what makes Prince a genius. But so in this song, it's, uh, you've got that sort of contrast happening with like the, um, the 16th, I think they are, high, high hat notes is and that sort of like lifts up the song and the energy a little bit um so then um it's got like an atonal piano note that's and like even now just listening back to it like i made it but like i'm still waiting for like 
is that thing going to resolve? Like, is there something else that goes with it? But no, it's just like a boom. Every now and then, just like a little piano note. Boom. And uh, just sort of like breaks up the monotony a little bit and uh, sort of keeps the, the ear on his toes. Um, so then we like come to the hook and uh, he's got like a little more melody in there with like a, a, a stringy sort of synth um, voicing instrument and it sort of it just livens up um, the hook and also the song and um, just keeps it interesting and then from there going into the second and third verse uh, you've got that same trance thing happening from the first verse so it's got all those things but it adds in like a little stringy stringy um so in the hook it's got like the string synth has a build up and a sharp drop and i think that uh, sort of like adds in a little bit of drama um for um the song and uh adds to like storytelling Hopefully it like adds and boosts up the hook a little bit. But then coming out of there, second and third verse, you got the like the the string synth, the stringy synth, and it doesn't have as sharp a drop off, so it resolves smoothly more so. But it is in there, it sort of pushes and just sort of like makes the uh, the narrative more interesting and the song less trancy and like uh, more like it gives you a feeling of, of movement, I suppose. Um, cool. So, yeah, then you've got the outro and just like the majority of the voicings drop and you just got uh, the strings, the string synth. And it just sort of like leaves you with that lasting memory of uh, that story that you just beheld. <laughs> So that's my uh, beat breakdown. I'm like, I'm, it feels like I'm like been trying to wrap this up for the last uh, few like minute or so. I don't, I don't know how long I have been trying to keep these uh, videos to like five minutes, but I feel like I've gone over on this one. Um, but yeah, that's my beat breakdown for Life in Disguise. Um, I'm hope hopefully you've listened to this song plenty of time by now. Um, and uh, if you have any different thoughts or like a completely different breakdown of what the beep does or is, feel free to uh, put it in the comments below or feel free to send me a DM or anything, any kind of message. Um, I always like to hear different perspectives, um, pretty much everything. Um, so I would definitely love to hear like a different perspective on like some artwork that um, I made because um, that's like part of the cool thing about art is that like there's hardly ever just like one right answer um, and it seems like there are many wrong answers <laughs> but that's part of all of what makes um, art interesting so uh, yeah so with that being said hope you have a good one and come on back for some more Peace.